Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have something so fun to share with you today. But first coffee. And it says, hello pumpkin. I feel like it's fall. It's fall weather around here. Although it will be 90 next week. Mm. So what do I have to share with you? I am so excited. I have spent the last six months designing a cross stitchers planner. That's why we called it the cross stitchers planner. This is for 2024. And I'm going to go over it with you. And I'm going to talk about all the places you can purchase it. And how exciting I am. So excited. So this is the front cover. It is done on a little bit of a heavier cardstock, but there's some flexibility to it. So it will fit in your bag. It has the white spiral. So you can open it, lay your pages front and back. And then on the back, we have my cute logo. Eh, eh, eh. I love my logo. Okay, so I believe it's like 83 pages, something of that, something of there, around there. But cover is nice and shiny. Um, included in this planner are 11 designs. 11 free designs by designers you love. So I'm going to go over it now, and we're going to scroll their name across. So we have Kelly from Cosford Rides Stitchery. Oh, and all of their links will be in the description box below. So we have Kelly from Cosford Ride. We have Ellen Reed, our friend from Maximum Cross Stitch. We have Becca from Sambury Stitches. We have Kate from K Kate Design. Kate Stitcher Designs. I always get that backwards, Kate, and I don't know why, but it's Kate Stitcher Design. We have Julie from Silver Stitch Design, uh, Pat from Foxtail Fibers. We have Deanna from Darling and Whimsy. I love her designs. Uh, we have Chrissy from Find Me a Farm Girl. She did include Matilda. Spoiler. Uh, we have Michelle G. Nope, Michelle from Mama Loves You GB. We all know Michelle from England, uh, Wales. Get it right, Lori. Uh, we have Patty from Four Boys and an NL Girl. And we have Michelle G from Bendy Stitchy Designs. So all of those designs are in here. There are 11 free designs for you to stitch at your leisure. So I'm going to lick my fingers here, guys. Okay, so this is about 100 Wait, I think next year's, I am designing one for 25, will be a little heavier. But, you know, we're, we're learning here. So, you got your cover, blank page. On the front, uh, this planner belongs to because that's, you know, we need to know whose it is because everybody's going to have one. And then I did a month at a glance. So, it's a two-page monthly layout. And I did want to show you some detail in here. So I'm trying to figure out. I've got the dot grid. So you can do, it's a little bit of bullet journal meets planner. Um, so we have the dot grid. The blocks are pretty large in here. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to come out with a, comp, um, a complimentary like companion piece. A companion um, sticker pack. Then on the back of the side, so for every single month, you're going to have a place to put your notes for that month. You're going to have any stitch alongs, any challenges you're working on, any finishes you've completed for this month. You can notate in your boxes. Here, I'm going to show you really quickly without showing you the pattern because these are... So then every page is a full page design. The chart is large to read. It is all in color. And it has all of your details listed. So they will be on every month. So that layout that I just showed you, you're going to have your month at a glance every month. And then on the back side, you're going to have this page to take in your notes and do whatever you want for that specific month. So now we get to the middle section because there are 12 of those. This was such a fun project and stressful all at the same time. I'm not going to lie because I can make myself a little stressed out. Now, the last month in December, you have, again, 
your page, but then you get a look ahead 2025, just months, nothing, no dates, just the month of 2025. So if you have anything for the following year that you want to put in, you can throw it in here. And then when you get your new planner, you just transfer all this over. I usually use post-it notes, but I thought that was better. Okay. Then we have a section here in the middle and it's enough room for 50 projects, but it's just the number of your project, the pattern, the designer, when did you start it and when did you finish it? This can be really personalized, I feel like, to any, any type of organization that you want to use. Are you doing whip go? You can put all your yearly whips. Are you doing the whip down for the year, uh, which is from Melanie at Soul for Soulful Stitching does, where these could be your focus pieces. And then on this side, any new starts, or if you just have new starts planned, I just kind of tried to make it open-ended, if you will, so you can personalize this and make it anything you would like. So you have enough room in here for 50 designs. The paper itself is 80 pound, and I have started writing on mine just to see, and it, it does write well, and you don't see through the pages. Um, when you're writing on one side, I think there are, I'm trying to see how many I have. Yes, six. And then there are six blank, just notebook journal pages. You can do whatever you want with these in the middle of your book, any type of journaling. I know some folks had expressed an interest on maybe saying a few things about a project, especially, especially if it was like a personalize something personal to you and you wanted to document it. And remember you'll have five or six, I'm sorry, six note pages. Again, personalize them however you like. If you're multi-craftual, you can also use this section to track other things like knitting projects or whatever. I mean, it's kind of a blank page literally for you to do what you want. Then we have, which I think is my favorite part to be honest with you, and what makes this planner unique. So this section here is really what was the catalyst for me wanting to design this planner. I needed retreat organization. I'm a list girl, I'm an organizer. So I took all the things that I track and I'm sharing them and hopefully they will help you be organized as well. So we have our retreat section, open it up and it is repeated three times. So there's enough space for three separate retreats. So on page one, we have your retreat information, your time, your dates, the name of the look, the name of the retreat, where is it located? Are you on a wait list? Is there a wait list? Down here, planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, departing, returning, how are you getting there? Is there a charge for parking at the hotel? Um, did you spend, do you have a budget for gas? How much gas? Is there a specific gas? Um, how long is it gonna take if you're driving? Are you taking a train or are you taking a plane? Down here is your hotel information with the name, your confirmation number, the address, a phone number. All important things to have that we typically keep in our phone, but what if your phone battery dies or you don't, you're international and you don't have service? And then over here, we have how much does a retreat cost? What is your travel, the hotel cost? Are you doing a smalls exchange? What are you budgeting for your smalls exchange? Food and then other. And then down here, thank you, Carolyn Zook, for bringing this up. Is there electricity at the table? That's a good one we need to know because do I need to bring a charging brick? Do I need to get a rechargeable? And then over here, just for whatever, again, just some open space. Then we did, a, I, I did a page, it's a royal we, it's me and the cats, a page on the retreat week. So you got your five, seven days leading up to the retreat or while you're at the retreat, and anything you need to get done, remember to pack. Like, I might be leaving here on this day. So I want to note that I'm leaving and, you know, I need to have somebody come get my cat. Or this day, pack my bag. However, again, more bullet journal meets planner. And then over here, you have a small to-do list. If there's anything you need to remember to do that week or whenever. And then just some notes for you because I gotta leave room for the extras or things I can think about. And then in the next page, who's gonna be at the retreat? What vendors are gonna be there that you wanna visit? Do you have a wish list of items you wanna look for from those vendors? Did you pre-order something? Melita, this is for you. 
because she sat down at our table and said, I ordered something, but I don't remember from whom. <laughs> like, okay, we need a spot for that. And then um, any kits or anything that you want to pick up or again, any notes that you want. Just your shopping at the retreat. Uh, packing for the retreat. So we have a section for projects. What projects are you bringing? What notions do you need to make sure you pack? Make sure you have your needles, scissors. This is for Carolyn when she goes off the grid. Girl, you need to bring this with you. Scissors, needles, fabric, Q-snaps. Um, because we get excited. What electronics? Do you need a charging brick? Do you need extra cords, extra cables? Um, what snacks are you bringing? Because that's important. And then other items down here. Just to keep you organized, you know. You gotta be organized, friends. Then we have a page about the area of the hotel. So where are you staying? What is in the neighborhood? Is there any restaurants you wanna visit? Are there any shops you need to go to? How about attractions or plans? Did you make plans to meet up with some friends there, have lunch? Just kinda organize what's going on around the hotel and what you wanna see. Then we have a section for table friends. So who is at your table? What are their contact information? They have social media, phone number, text, email. How do you want to keep track of your friends? And what table were you at? Because that is a great memory that everybody wants to have. And I know we all walk around and we want to get information from all of our friends. So I thought, let's just put a section here for our table friends or anybody you meet at the retreat. doesn't have to be a table friend. And then the last is Stitchy Kindness. Um... Are you participating in the Smalls Exchange? And if so, what are you making? What is your thoughts? What are your ideas? Um, are you making table mate gifts? Definitely not a requirement at any retreat, but a lot of folks like to, myself included. I have hair there. Um, what am I making? What are my thoughts and ideas? And what gifts did I receive? When we sit down, those of us who make channel content, we sit down, we try to remember everybody who gifted us something. And we are very generous folks. So I wanted to give us a section that we can say, you know, my friend Lisa, Lisa gave me some stickers of Canada. And I wanna remember that and I wanna thank her and I wanna put it on my channel. So we have that. And then I just threw in as a page break, also if you wanna make your own little design, a piece of graph paper. Again, notes whatever, but you can also chart if you have a, a idea on the fly. And then that retreat section repeats itself three times. So for three retreats, this book can house for you. Um, if you go to more than three, feel free to make photocopies for yourself. Um, if you need more retreat information, um, that is an option as well. Now, where can you buy these planners? Currently, Right now, they're in transit. If you're watching this today in August, I think it's the 19th. I don't have my watch on. I think it's the 19th. If you're watching it today, currently, these boxes are being shipped, the planners. They are going to go to Canada. They're going to visit our friend Caroline at Everto and team, and they are going to be selling them throughout the whole I don't know where she ships to, but wherever she ships, she will sell that to you. Um, definitely, definitely in Canada. I will not be shipping international from my Etsy shop. I will only ship the United States. Um, Caroline will handle all of Canada. And if you're in the United States and you're ordering from her, please feel free. Order from Caroline because you got to throw some floss and some fabric in there and all the things and some patterns for your new stitchy. Sherry at Colorado Cross Stitcher. We all love Sherry. She is going to be carrying them as well. If you're in the United States, you can order from Sherry and she will ship them right out to you. She also has an online store and you can purchase items from her. Fabric, floss, all the things. And I also have some in my Etsy shop. So if, and they, the Etsy shop is live currently. I have ordered 150 copies. I didn't know how this was going to be perceived. I didn't know how it was going to be received, I guess is a better term. How are we going to be receiving this? So I ordered 150 copies. I can have more made. So I have some up in my Etsy shop and it is linked down below as well. So there are three places currently that you can get this planner. 
internationally, I don't have a presence overseas, which I'm kind of sad about. Email me if you really, really want one, but I do not know what shipping cost is going to be, and I don't know how long it's going to take to get there, but I will work with you. So just shoot me an email through Etsy if you really want me to ship one over to you, and I will. So there is that. I think that's everything. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. As always, I am here and I am so excited. I think I might have teared up a little bit when I picked them up at the printer. All right, guys, that is everything. And I will talk with you later. Have a good one. Bye.